Good evening from Xfinity Center. This is a Red Turtle Productions Turp Talk post game show. Maryland 96, Maryland Eastern Shore 43. Bruce Mason was as good as it looked. I don't know about if it was that good. Eastern Shore got some shots that they just did not go in the basket, but the passing for Maryland is just at a new level. We talked about it the other day. We, you, you saw it on Friday night if you happen to watch it. They're making that extra pass that wasn't made that last year. And uh, the bench is older, stronger. In the case of Morsel, it's been a shock as to how good he is. Obi, what else could he do? I mean, uh, he was perfect from the field and uh, had four or five rebounds. Uh, Bruno Fernando started, didn't score much, but played great defense. Well, this game was it was ridiculous. I mean, it was never a game. I, I called 50 after the first couple minutes just because the other team was only trying to make threes. And you have to drive against a team that's much better than you. You're going to die with the threes. And they did. Mason, what did you think of your uh, buddy Daryl Morsell there? He can pass, and that is something that the Terps have not seen from the backup point guard position in a long time. As a guy who can pass, drive, and unlike Cowan did last year, he can also score. Oh, it certainly could score. I'm really impressed by the passing, the floor bounce. It was like an extended practice, and we'll go over the uh, who scored what. Cowan almost with a double-double there. Uh, we see Todd Carton in the background. He's heading this way to talk about Maryland and South Carolina. Uh, what do you see for the Butler game coming up, Bruce? Well, from what I looked at, Butler is not a powerhouse. So I think that we'll be in pretty good shape. Uh, uh, but you don't know. Butler is the kind of team. I don't like the fact we haven't been challenged yet. We will be challenged against Butler. So we'll see how they react. We'll see how Morsel reacts. We'll see how everything reacts. But the thing I love about this team is that extra pass is being made. And they're getting great looks on three-point shots. Justin Jackson's playing great. Every knock on wood, everybody's healthy. Checo, Bender, everybody. And right now, things are looking up as far as I'm concerned. I'm very, very high on this team. We'll be back in a minute here from Xfinity Center's Maryland Rolls 96-43. This postgame show is brought to you by Viner Consulting. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it, in many cases before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. Well, it was a big day at College Park today. Why? Wait, give them the score, Mason. Three to two. Turns Three to over two. Duke. Field hockey, they're in the final four. Uh, tremendous. This was not a team we expected to be Final Four, at least I didn't, because of the seven losses, very unusual, but uh, they came, they arrived when it mattered. But there's a big game here Monday night in basketball. Uh, tell everybody, and is it on Big Ten or is it on TV? It's ESPN, I think, Big Monday. This yeah, it should is be South on ESPN Carolina, or ESPN too. The NCAA champions coming to town. That's right, uh, defending NCAA champions, playing Maryland women, uh, here Monday night um, should be actually an interesting matchup. South Carolina lost a lot of players off of their team last year. They lost three big players, Elena Coates being uh, the biggest, Alicia Gray probably next. So it's an interesting matchup. They're constructed a lot like Maryland, uh, one or two big players and a lot of uh, wings. So it'll be an interesting game. You got to say Maryland would be what a seven or eight point dog. Probably right now. I mean, Maryland with the short bench um, and and players adjusting to new positions is going to be a little bit uh, uh, tough for Maryland early in the year. Is Damon Evans going to get his first championship here uh, with field hockey? You know, Michigan's on a roll. They've won 13 straight. They have six straight shutouts. Their goalie is phenomenal. But Maryland... Means nothing. Means nothing. Maryland took them to double overtime on their home court. 
field, and and it really comes down to is Maryland good enough to beat the top three teams in the country? We shall see. We shall see. All right, let's bring Wayne back in. Wayne, let's let's talk a little football here. Let's let, let's talk a little football, Wayne. Uh, pretty disappointing on Saturday. I watched the game again at like three o'clock in the morning. I'm not sure why, but I saw a lot of things I liked. I know it sounds weird in a game when you lose that bad, but I don't think it was, you, you're never as bad as you look when you lose bad, you know? And they lost pretty bad. But what, what, was your, what, what were your two guys' take on it? Well, for, Mason, go ahead. For me, we were on the field before the game, and we got a good looks, look at some of the Maryland defensive linemen that are about the size of an NFL middle linebacker. That's true. Even a Kingsley Opara, just not you're that not, big a guy. With your, when your nose tackle is that size and you're playing against projected NFL talent on the other side of the ball, there's just zero, little to no chance. And they had the zero to no chance, but Maryland shot themselves in the foot a little bit. But let's go over the things that we liked. I like the spark that Ryan Brand bought. I like the fact that Maryland didn't stop playing. I like the fact that they won or tied the second half, and those are all good things. The first half was abysmal. I love I love DJ Moore. When the kid from Michigan intercepted the ball in the end zone, he had a 25-yard head start on DJ Moore, and he wasn't slow. And DJ called him. And DJ plays 100% all the time, up and down the field. He punted. He threw a pass. He called five passes. He got fouled incessantly, never stopped, never complained. He's an outright winner, and he'll be on the next level, as we know. I mean, DJ Moore ran that play down, and a few plays before that, he was injured a little Right, bit. he was hurt on that long pass where he hit the ground or whatever happened. The positives you have to look at is that they didn't stop playing. At one point, it looked like they were slipping away, but then when they came out of that locker room, they were right back into it. Okay. So next game, the next game's at Michigan State, 4 o'clock on Saturday. Then we'll be back here against Bucknell at 8.30. Uh, said there's no Turp Talk uh, radio show this week. Right, right, because of the Bucknell game, I don't want to miss it. And also, uh, uh, Senator Francis X. Kelly's being honored on Wednesday night at 5.30. And I, you know I wouldn't miss that for the world. He's a very close friend. So, and you know, I wasn't going to drag you in and be late to the game. So we'll just take off, but we'll have a full report on Saturday. Are you going to Louisville, Todd? Probably not. Todd's not going. I, I don't believe it. He will be there. He will never, never miss the field hockey Final Four. I mean, when your Twitter handle involves field hockey guy yeah, and yeah. your team goes to the Final Four, just can't miss that one. All right. Well, that'll do it from College Park tonight. A winner, a winner in field hockey. It's been a pretty good day in Turpland. This is Wayne Viner for Bruce Bosner. Intern Mason, Todd Carton, we will see you back here on Wednesday night after the game, and that'll be our version of live Turp Talk as you well. Good evening. I can make your hands clap. Said I can make